Dinosaurs by Kathleen Widener Zofield. Big Scary Bones. Have you ever seen dinosaur bones in a museum? Some of them are huge. If those bones came to life, it would be pretty scary. But not to worry, all the big scary dinosaurs died off long, long ago. The bones weren't always at the museum. Where did they come from? Word Bites. Museum. A building where you can see dinosaur bones and other rare and important things. Digging up dinosaurs. The dinosaur bones were buried safely in rock for a long time. The bones are fossils. Paleontologists found them. They dug them out of the ground. Word bites. Fossil. Part of a living thing that has been saved in stone. Paleontologist. A scientist who finds and studies fossils. They brought the fossil bones to the museum and cleaned them. Then they put them all together. Bones were on the inside of a dinosaur. But what did dinosaurs look like on the outside? Dinosaur skin. Sometimes dinosaur skin left prints in mud. The mud hardened and saved the prints. These fossils tell us that some dinosaurs were scaly like lizards. And some dinosaurs had feathers like birds. Dinosaur superstars. Tyrannosaurus rex was one of the biggest meat eaters that ever walked on the earth. Diplodocus was one of the longest dinosaurs ever found. Pachycephalosaurus walked on two legs and had a thick domed head. Triceratops had a huge head with three large horns and a wide neck frill. Ankylosaurus was an armored dinosaur. It had a solid bone club at the end of its tail. Stegosaurus had rows of tall plates running down its back. Its tail had four deadly spikes. Smallest dinosaurs. When you go to the museum, be sure to look for the smallest dinosaurs. Some are small enough to hold in your hand. Many small dinosaurs have feathers. The biggest dinosaurs were the long necked sauropods. You can't miss them. Sauropods like Argentinosaurus are the biggest land animals that ever lived. Walking on tiptoes. Big or small, scaly or feathery, all dinosaurs walked on their toes. And all dinosaurs had curvy, S-shaped necks. What did dinosaurs eat? A dinosaur's teeth tell us what it ate. Brachiosaurus and Diplodocus were plant eaters. They had dozens of chisel-like teeth. Their teeth were good for snipping tough branches. Other dinosaurs were meat eaters. They ate other animals. Deinonychus had teeth as sharp as steak knives. They were perfect for slicing meat. Here is a tooth the meat eater Tyrannosaurus rex. Dinosaur moms and babies. All dinosaurs, even the scariest meat eaters, laid eggs and had babies. Some of them, such as Oviraptor, guarded their nest and kept their eggs warm. When the babies hatched, the parents looked after them until they were big enough to live on their own. Is that a dinosaur? Lots of people think anything big and dead is a dinosaur, but that's not right. Is this a dinosaur? No, the woolly mammoth was huge, but this animal did not lay eggs like a dinosaur, and it had fur. No dinosaurs had fur. The woolly mammoth lived after the big dinosaurs went extinct. Word bites. Extinct. No longer alive. When all members of a group of animals are dead, they are extinct. Is this a dinosaur? It walks on its toes. It has a curvy neck. It has feathers like an Ankylosaurus, And it lays eggs. Yes, a chicken is a dinosaur. All birds are living dinosaurs. Your pet dinosaur. Many people would love to keep dinosaurs as pets. You might think a Tyrannosaurus Rex would be fun to play fetch with, but you wouldn't want to be near it at dinner time. And besides, it's extinct. If you want a dinosaur of your own, look for one that's small. A small dinosaur makes a very good pet. Extinct. No longer alive. When all members of a group of animals are dead, they are extinct. Fossil. Part of a living thing that has been saved and sown. Museum. 
a building where you can see dinosaurs and other rare and important things. Paleontologist, a scientist who finds and studies fossils. The end. Don't forget to like and subscribe.